Hello guys, I'm EIP, your favorite YouTube analyst. And today I'm going to be addressing a very important topic when it comes to trading. And you could categorize it in, uh, in, in the category of psychology, but I wouldn't because psychology is more of a, more of an external thing. Which can be, which can be mended, which can be repaired, but this is something very internal. This is something from within, and this is very important. And you guys know that there are lots of, uh, there are lots of uh, what do you say, self development gurus out there as well who will tell you all sort of things, all sort of methods and all sort of rituals which you guys need to do in order to improve yourself. But I'm the only guy who is actually doing the practical stuff. So as you guys can see that I'm doing the trading and there is, there is an active group of mine, uh, of my uh, guys who are subscribing to my trading group and so not only I'm, I'm making money, but I'm also taking care of their psychology as well. And I'm going to be taking care of your psychology as well, or your, you know, inner self as well, because without your inner self, if your inner, inner, if your inner being is not right, then you're never going to be a good trader. Now, this is the thing which nobody talks about. Everybody just talks about putting on two moving averages and, you know, make, trying to, you know, make you a trader, but it is not going to, it is not easy like that because I can, I can assure you, even if I would have told you that over here, that we are going to go up, but if your inner self is not right, you would, you would not only hit your stop loss, but you will watch it, see it go up without you. And then you will long over here only to see it go down. Because your inner self or inner being is not congruent with your outer being. Now you guys have to believe in me. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a self, I'm not a self-help guru who is, you know, just talking about this stuff. I am the self-help guru, you can say who is actually doing the trading as well. So not only I'm talking about the figurative stuff, I'm talking about the practical stuff also, as you guys can see. So what I'm going to be telling you in the coming next five or 10 minutes is very important. <laughs> important for you guys who are watching my video. And it is the most important for the people who are inside my group who have subscribed to my group and it is very important because if you will not follow this advice you will ultimately never become a good trader because this is the secret this is a secret nobody else talks about because they don't even know putting on two moving averages is not going to cut it and you guys already know by that by now so i'm going to start the presentation So I'm going to start the presentation with this sentence and please note it down that you are a master master creator. You are a master creator. That is, you are already getting what you are trying to create. Now you have to ask yourself this question that how can I be master creator? I am a sucky trader. Then how am I, and I want to be a successful trader, but right now I suck at it. 
so how am i how how is eip calling me a master creator and in the coming 5 minutes i'm going to prove to you that no you are creating in your mind a sucky trader you see yourself as a sucky trader that's why you are a sucky trader that's why you are being projected as a sucky trader in this world so bear with me and i'm going to explain in a moment so consider this as an iceberg and this is the sea level this is 95% and this is 5% now the 95% of your emotions beliefs and every other thing is in your subconscious mind and the remaining 5% not remaining and the desires are in your conscious mind now consciously consciously you desire to be a successful trader you want to become rich or maybe you want you want recognition or maybe you want love or maybe you want success but subconsciously you do not believe in it subconsciously you think that you are never going to get your love you are never going to become successful you are, you will remain remain a poor guy so there is a misconception in the world and that is or in this world we are taught to fret about our desires we are taught to you know keep repeating about our desires and in the hope of that eventually it will come through but it is actually going to play an opposite effect upon your fulfillment of the desires because the more you will run, run after the desires and the more you will fret over your desire you are no, not you are not going to you are not passing on the correct signal to the universe because the universe picks up on your subconscious beliefs that you have the 90% of the things that you carry within the 90% of the vibration that you carry so you could be desiring to become a successful trader but subconsciously you you know that you are a poor guy and you will remain a poor guy or you are never going to cut it so when you will have a buy now signal or when even when you will know that it will go up so before the price going up from here it will come down to take your stop and then it will go up because of this subconscious belief because you do not believe in this so that's why universe will do exactly what you will believe that is it will come down and take you stop and then go okay. on wednesday on wednesday i had longed publicly in my group on 17980 and i was in huge profit huge profit and then it came down and i was almost at a zero and then it went up and then it hit my stop loss over here so instead of being up by 40k i ended up losing 8k but i was not going to i was not going to allow this thing to happen to me because i believed in myself i believed i i i subconsciously i knew that it would go up 
So how I handled it? I put on my good news, bad news indicator. I put on my good news, bad news indicator. And I kind of knew that it will, this thing will hold. And then when it, I was ready to buy from here. I was ready to buy from here. So it's fine that you did not get, uh, get this move, but you were able to get all of this move. So when people say, they are not getting what they want, they are trying their best. But I tell them exactly that you are getting what you want because this is what actually you want. Subconsciously, you want to fail. You don't want to be a successful guy. You don't want to, you don't want to win. You actually want to see yourself fail. And that is what exactly universe is presenting to you. You want failure. Okay, fine. Here is more failure because the vibrations or the aura that you're sending to the universe is of failure. So my friends, it is very important to not run after the desires, but to correct your beliefs that you have about yourself. So if you will not believe that you are a successful trader, or if you are going to be successful, then there is no, no one in this universe can help you. No one in this universe can help you. You have to help yourself. And I'm not, again, like I said, I'm not one of those self-help self, self -help gurus who just talk good stuff. I am applying self-help with a practical application of making money as well. And trust me on this. This is not about psychology. I'm not addressing your trading psychology over here. I'm not addressing that, okay, fine, you were up, you are up 10,000 over here and then, or how much of a loss you were able to handle. I'm not addressing your psychology. I am, I'm just addressing that because the vibration that you are sending to the universe, they are not congru in, congru uh, in congruence with your desires. So that is why you are a sucky trader. That is why it is always coming back to hit you. And that is why things always go wrong against you. So my friend, you are a master creator. You are already creating what you want. But the problem is that you are creating an image of a sucky trader for your own self. So you have to, you have to operate from the, from the platform of belief in yourself and from the platform of knowledge. Only then you are going to cut it. Otherwise, this is the perfect example that even when you're right, it will come back to, you know, take you out. But only if you will have belief, you will be able to ride it. Okay. So if the things are not working out for you, you have to ask yourself that what are the beliefs that you have or what are the programs in your mind that are running you, for example, or what, what, what are the thoughts that you have? 
because as long as you will have the so uh, same old beliefs programs and thoughts running you then you will keep on creating your reality from those old beliefs thoughts and programs and you will create your reality really well from those beliefs those thoughts those pro programs because you are a master creator like i said at the start of the presentation so if you want to go after the desires and if you want to create your desires then you need to work on this thing and once you will work on these things create new beliefs create new patterns create new programs create new thought process thoughts only then your only then you will be able to get the desires without even knowing because right now you are creating your desires as well you are a master creator but you are already creating what is there in your subconscious mind what is there in your 95% what is there in your vibration you are already creating it so now you need to change this if it is not working for you then you need to ask yourself that maybe it's time now that i need to change this change my beliefs change my thoughts change my change my the, change the program change the operating system that is running me change the windows that is running me so i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say over here i will take your leave now thank you guys if you like my presentation then kindly like the video and leave a comment thank you bye bye